It's the New Zealand of England. Beautiful, so much to offer, but still living in probably the 80s, not in my days, in the 40s and 50s. But, and that, by the way, is a comment of praise. It is not a comment that is meant detrimentally. On the contrary, uh, it lives a very much more dignified and very much more old-fashioned life than we do running around in London. And that is a quality and a great thing and should be envied. Really, in one's heart, it's different to one's straight memories. For example, of course I remember the seafront and the mud. Of course I do. I remember living in Six Eastern Mansions South Road, up on the top of the hill, with my father and mother before he died. But as loving memories, I remember Clarence Park and watching Somerset lose every single match. I don't remember Somerset winning at Clarence Park against any county. But I went every day, assuming they would, because I am an optimist. Where I sold the scorecards and I worked the scoreboard. And then I worked in the tent doing the tees. But I I remember also building a love for Somerset. For example, at Christmas, I give a cheddar cheese to all my friends at Christmas, uh, which I think is the best cheese on earth. So there's all these memories that are sort of there, and I'm very proud of being a Somerset boy. Very proud of being. There, there's, it's a beautiful county, physically a beautiful county. Well, I have a tendency to be, to go and do things. People very kindly invite me to do things. For example, uh, I'm a patron of uh, the Royal Knight Lifeboat Institution, so I opened, recently opened what they called their shed. Uh, my wife has a road in Cambridge named after her, Dame Mary Archer Way. I have a shed in Western Super Mare named after me. It kind of gives you the perspective on the two of us, really, and what we've achieved in life, really, that I have a shed named after me in Western Supermare. And then I go down and help with the hospice, which uh, took a step back, I'm sad to say. We wanted a new hospice, and then we're trying to get one at the moment. And then I'm going down in a few days' time to the literary festival. Uh, I don't do literary festivals, but I felt, uh, quite rightly, I must do the Western Supermare literary festival. And of course, my love of, my love of uh, cricket means that I go to Taunton a lot. Um, and see, because they usually have an international, if the Indians or the West Indians or the Australians come, they usually get a match at the uh, very beginning. And my dear friend, uh, Roy Kurzlake, who is president of Somerset, and a very great man, a man I've loved for many, many years, very kind man in good times and bad. I'll go down and see him, and of course Paul Nash, our great and distinguished chairman, and our great and distinguished, I was going to say cricket team, but that would have been inaccurate as we have never won the county championship. Pathetic! So when I wrote seven novels called The Clifton Chronicles, my hero, Harry Clifton, Clifton Suspension Bridge, my hero, Harry Clifton, is a Bristolian, and his girlfriend comes from Somerset, Emma comes from Somerset, and his best friend, Giles, comes from Somerset. Because I can casually write about my youth, I don't have to live in Liverpool or Yorkshire and go and look it all up and go and live that. I had 20 years of it. So it's imbued in me. So that all comes flowing out. And I get a lot of letters saying, I love the Clifton Chronicles because I come from the West Country and it's so obvious you do.